Are you trying to build the best team in Madden? Well, go today and avoid the packs and save some racks. Head on over. Use code CC for 15% off. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We're here with the best team in Madden. And, uh, you know, we do this sort of weekly, but with all the content we've been getting, sometimes it gets a little delayed. So this is when it's coming. Uh, we have hit 97 overall total on uh, 97 on offense, 97 on defense. We had to make some changes to get this to work. Uh, there's a couple key things I want to point out here. We're missing some of the higher rated cards. And that is very intentional. Uh, most importantly, left tackle, Ronnie Stanley, he's not on our team. Right guard, Brandon Brooks, he's not on our team. Kicker, Adam Vinatieri, he's not on our team. The main reason why we're not going for those cards is Team of the Year is right around the corner. I don't want to dump coins and stuff. And I don't know you guys will complain about that maybe because we have a lot of coins. Uh, but still, I don't feel like it's a smart move to just get a card, which from the looks of it does not look to be the best card in its position. I don't know why we would do that. Uh, when kicking, I prefer more kick power. Vinatieri doesn't have that. Team of the Air kicker probably will be the best. Same thing with the linemen. They just didn't really compare very well uh, for me. <laughs> you know, whatever. Um, so we made some changes here on offense. Uh, the main thing we really did change. Uh, normally we ran a full Falcons passing chemistry. We actually changed that a bit to include some 49ers passing as well to help Theo, Randy Moss would be George Kittle, uh, which then helped us get Theo to a 99. If you remember when we got him, he was a 98. So I played around with the chemistry as best as possible. Vic stays as a 99. Owens goes up to a 99. And the key thing uh with Vic here while we removed some of the Falcons passing stuff he still stuck with his 99 throw power that was sort of the key what I really wanted uh so we're able to manage this and create this uh lineup uh, as best as possible so we got Vic here uh we did put more Falcons in as backups as well I know you guys probably see some more of those guys uh but we're at tier two we could probably get it to tier three with a little bit of work a little bit of help um Pretty easily, honestly. Uh, it's not going to change much for what we do. But we did that. We took out uh, like a backup or two, right? It just makes sense. Uh, so we're still rocking Vic. And then we got Matt Ryan and backup here. Pat Mahomes would be our actual true backup. The quarterback that I've been switching in and out with. I really like Mahomes. Really like Vic as well. It just goes on your preference. Uh, offensive line. Again, no real changes here. Expecting changes in the next two weeks okay expected real changes in the next two weeks same thing with tight end we could have picked up travis kelsey but again i think gronk and tony g are better he would have replaced kittle but then again i feel like kittle is probably in line for that team of the year card who will then probably be the best tight end of the game so there's no real point in doing that upgrade uh receiver wise uh we obviously picked up to I have abilities and uh, X factors on him. Uh, they're not active at this point, uh, but I'm going to activate them and do some gameplay. So I hope you guys are looking forward to some gameplay. I want to use them. Uh, we've been using Moss with Moss, which I think is just such a weapon uh, that I'll probably leave him in there uh, for when I play weekend league and stuff for sure, because getting the, those guaranteed points on a drive is, is really nice. It's really nice. Um, but let's take a look at Tio. He's a new card. Let's look at his stats. This card looks insanely good. If Moss didn't exist, Tio would be, he would be in that spot. 100%. 96 speed, 99 catch in traffic. That's what I like to see. His route runners are all good. He's a strong guy. And the, the couple keys here, Tio, good strength. We see Julio's got good strength too, but Tio's is just a little bit higher. And one of the big things I really like about Tio, and I really want to see, the stiff arm is good. I like stiff arm when I catch the ball in the flats. Uh, and then, where is it? 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 Did I pass it? Did I pass it? Did I pass it? No, I didn't. Break tackle is 95. 95 break tackle on Terrell Owens. If you look at our running backs, you're talking Bo Jackson has 96. Jim Brown has 94. Early 94. He's got the break tackle of a running back. I'm really curious to see how that plays out. Again, no abilities on him currently. Same thing with Julio. 
obviously we'll get every upgraded Julio card. Bam, he moves there. And then we've got Marvin Harrison down here. Could use Harrison instead of Holt. They're very, very similar cards. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, so many good receivers in the game. So many guys I really want to use. Only having two abilities uh, that I can personally put on them does hurt. Because I would like to use more and swap them in and out more. But I, it's just the way it is. Ability is so good in the game. Uh, you know, it hurts. Uh, I run back Bo, Walter, and Eric. Jim Brown down here. Barry Sanders is now gone off the team. Out of the binder as well. Oh, we did a lot of binder cleanup recently. So that's pretty cool. This works out pretty well. Uh, Bo, best unability running back in the game, in my opinion. Obviously, with abilities, it's Dickerson. We don't run that. Defensively, uh, we today, this morning, got our 175 daily objectives completed, which means we got another power up pass, which means we, we used it on Sean Taylor. Uh, so no change there. Just added coins. Lots of added coins go up. Coins go up. Uh, the way we still run our team is Sean Taylor with Lurker and Enforcer, Patrick Willis with Lurker and Enforcer, and then Bruce Smith rocking down here. Van Der Esch, in a coverage situation, will go out and play for us. Otherwise, Lawrence Taylor plays a lot. Same thing with Cleo Mack. If we're, you know, defending the run or something, Cleo Mack's probably out there. If not, we probably, uh, you know, put in uh, Shazier and Van Der Esch three linebackers and then maybe like leave willy Lanier out there his 80 zone is, is is okay uh and that would be like a three four spot uh ronnie lott and calvin johnson they're basically our safeties in the game for the most part there are times they don't play it happens but uh they're both really good uh without abilities they play great still love both those cards uh we did move willie brown off the team from quarterback five we moved night train down from cb1 to cb5 big downgrade uh, his card is just getting a little old. It's getting a little old. Uh, he falls right in line with Mel Blunt and Ron Woodson, but, but let's get the other, the new card, some play. Let's try them out a little bit more. Nitrine did play great at times, but, you know, uh, sometimes it hurt him. Uh, otherwise, if we ever need to go with a heavier corners uh, defending the run, Nitrine can come in, but not overly worried about it. Uh, Champ Bailey, who played amazing this weekend. I will say that he played amazing. He played great. 97 speed, 97 excel, 97 agility. Very good. Uh, the key thing, I'm going to bring up Night Train here and compare Champ across to him. You see Champ's strength is lower. That's fine. Uh, we know the speed and all that. But Champ's, he's got over 80 catching. Love that. He gets really good animations. His tackling is 79 as well. So I don't mind leaving him out there. He may not get off the block shed as well. But he is going to actually tackle better than Night Train Lane. Crazy as it sounds, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's the best part about Champ when he gets the ball too. When he picks it off, you can juke, you can spin with him. All good there. Uh, and his block shedding is 50. Night Train's was 65. It's a difference, but 65 block shedding is still pretty crap. Uh, they've really digged quarters this year on block shed, so it is what it is. Uh, but really, really a big fan of the way Champ Bailey played this weekend. Uh, Bruce Smith still dominates for us when he plays. I have not used a lot of John Randall. If you guys want to know how he plays, I'm sorry. I just haven't gone deep in on him. But Danelle Hunter, I used him as a spy most of the weekend. Uh, and he couldn't have played better doing that. He did exactly what I needed him to do. He got to the ball. He got sacks. Played perfect. Will we rush passers? We're still using Lawrence Taylor, Bruce Smith, and Michael Strahan. Those are our main pass rushers. Everyone else can sort of fit in. Uh, but I do want to try John Randall out a bit more because I think he looks really good. Uh, I just haven't really used him. I don't know why. Old habits die hard, I guess, right? Uh, so again, here are our uh, abilities and X factors there. Full chemistry. Out on everything, even lockdown is still full. Shaker, brawler, we're ready for the next Madden Cam, whatever that does come out. Looks good. You guys wanted to see special teams and specialists this week. Ray Guy is our punter. Will Lutz is our kicker. Again, we don't have Vinatieri. I know he's higher overall. Will Lutz has better kick power. 
give me the kick power. At Specialist, Dickerson, Peyton, and Bo sit right here. They all get carries. They all get carries. Bo gets the majority of the carries, but they all split carries. I move them in and out a lot. Uh, we've got Derwin at sub linebacker. Uh, I like him in there just in case I happen to forget to put someone in. Because you can't really like put a free safety in the lineup in this part. Uh, so he makes a lot of sense there. We got Patrick Willis. And then like I said, when we rush the passer, this is how we do it. Mel Blunt is our slot corner team strategy. We still played in the Packers offense this week. We played in the Panthers defense this week. Again, uh, 49ers have got a little bit of a passing. Falcons passing. Again, nothing crazy there. Uh, team played really well. I played really well, I thought. Um, what are we win 21 games a week in league. Probably should have been 22, in my opinion. Uh, I think I let two games slip away, personally. But, you know, uh, so you can't win them all. You can't win them all. We played a really, really hard schedule, in my opinion. Let's go. We'll show it to you while we're here, since it is Monday. Uh, might as well look and see. So we're 63 right now with 21 wins. Like I said, should have been higher. Uh, who did we play this week? Uh, I, I felt like it was a hard schedule. I felt like it was. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Uh, we, uh, we played BMK J25. That was a real close game that we did lose, unfortunately. Again, I felt like I kind of should have won that. Uh, we played Matt Rutt. Again, a game I probably felt like I should have won, um, but I gave him, uh, honestly, two real easy scores. You give him two easy scores to someone, he ain't going to win. Uh, so again, like two guys in the top 30 right there. Uh, who else did we play this week? We played this guy. I believe we won. I think we won. I don't know if we won. I think we did. Couldn't have lost everyone, right? <laughs> you can't. Uh... I felt like it was harder than this. I felt like it was harder than this. Whispers we played, uh, played we played perfectly against him, and and won. Uh, played BG in seasons. You guys see that game? Pew pew. That was fun. I uh, love BG. Love watching BG stream. And uh, I think that's it for for actual top one hundred. Let's say I felt like it was harder. Um, yeah, everyone always wants to blame EA. I think there's some moments you can blame EA in a game. But when you go back and you look at the replays and you see, oh, I missed a pass here. I should have done this. Or what was I thinking here? Uh, you learn. 21 games is fine. I would like to get back to that 22, 23 range where we've been at. But again, my fault. I will get better. We've got weekend league rewards this week. We've got monthly rewards this week. Everyone who keeps asking, monthly rewards are this week. But that's about it. Uh, best team in Madden. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Gameplay. I'm out. Peace.